So first you gotta start off by creating the flappy skin which is going to be the hangnail rip part. So I'm just taking a little bit of liquid latex on a q-tip and just creating a nice line on a sheet protector. So to create the rip part I'm just taking some scar wax and blending it out on my finger. I'm making sure that I have a lot of Vaseline on my finger so that way it doesn't get stuck. And I'm just using my finger to blend it out and then I use a spatula to remove any excess and I just keep doing that same method. And once I'm happy with it, I take my spatula and create a nice line down the middle of it, pulling out all the scar wax that I want. Try to keep the shape that you created the little latex piece so that way it actually matches up well. I'm taking a bright red and a dark red alcohol activated face paint and applying it in the center of the cut, not worrying too much about this because I am going to put blood on top of it later. The scar wax needed more texture to it and I ran out of stippling sponges so I took this frayed kind of weird brush I got from Michaels and used that. I would recommend having stippling sponges on hand to add some skin texture back to the wax. So the fake skin flap we made earlier should be dry by this point so I'm just taking a little bit of baby powder dusting over it and then peeling it off applying baby powder on the back because liquid latex loves to stick to itself and you do not want that to happen. I went over the wound with a little bit of scab blood and some liquid blood. So when I was sticking on the flappy skin piece I kind of messed up a little bit and stuck it on the opposite way. You should stick it on to where it's over the wound but I did it the wrong way. So I fixed it by flipping over the skin and just kind of using liquid latex to hold it down. And that seemed to work but it looked a little bit weird so I went over the edges with some scar wax and that seemed to do the trick. Just make sure if you do the same thing you use the stippling sponge or brush to add the texture so it looks more realistic. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, I had so much fun making it. I love making these short, gory videos for you guys. If you did enjoy it, make sure you thumbs it up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.